Let's understand and fix page view redirect error in Google Search Console. First, let's see what is this error page view redirect. So when Google bot try to access one of your website URLs, but the URL says to the bot that I'm sending you to this another URL. And Google says, okay, I respect this instruction, but I'm going to note this down and show you that I was redacted in search engine report. And that's why we see all these URLs in search engine console report, which brings to another important point that not all the pages we redirect are issues. They're just reminders from Google that these pages have redirects. Here you can see there's so many pages listed here. Sometimes it can be hundreds or thousands, but don't worry about it. If you see very few pages or many pages, the solution can be very simple. Now there are two very important things to understand here. First, these pages are not always error. They can be guide for you to understand that how Google is seeing your website. Second, you do not need to worry about everything. Just focus on the pages which are submitted by you from the sitemap. For example, you can see here I have 203 page redirects, but if I choose this drop down and then I click on all submitted pages, you can see I have only 30 pages with redirect. So I need to access these 13 pages first to understand whether these redirect are fair enough or there are some error which I need to fix. So let me show you the live example from my search console and show you how we can fix these page view redirects. Before moving forward, I request you to like the video, subscribe to the channel because while creating this video, it takes a lot of time to research, script, record, edit and then publish this video to YouTube. And the biggest challenge is I want to create the video which are really easy to understand for everybody. So sometimes what happens, I create the videos and I am not satisfied enough that this can be an easy and useful video. Then I have to recreate the video again from scratch. So it takes a lot of time. So it will really helpful if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. That is a really nice way to show your support. And that's also good for YouTube algorithm. Okay, moving on to live example and fixes. So you can see here, there are multiple pages here on my page view redirect report. And this will be applicable to any kind of website or blog. You will find very similar pages. Try to understand what I'm going to explain you in this video. And you can find similar pages, similar patterns on your website too. Okay, the first kind of pages will be these kind of pages, which are page builder pages. You can see here Elementor HF, footer, Elementor library, default kit, or any page which is related to a plugin or a theme page. If I click on this icon, you can see this page, Elementor HF footer. If I scroll that, you always need to look this option discovery. So you can see this page is not in any sitemap, no reference sitemap detected. And there's no other referring page which is showing this page. And then next thing to understand here is user declared canonical. You can see the URL of my website. In your case, it can be URL of your website. So what's happening here? We do not need to worry about this because we are not adding this page in sitemap. There's no link coming to this page. Somehow Google knows about this page. So you don't need to worry about it. And if I show you this page, this is a page created by Elementor Footer Builder. Actually, it's a template for the footer of the website. There's just one thing you need to check here, go back to your website and then if you're using any SEO plugin, go to SEO plugin and then go to content types or you can see where the sitemap is built. In case of Yoast SEO plugin, you can see here if I click on show more, we have this option Elementor header and footer builder. And if you see here search appearance, show Elementor header and footer builder search result, you need to uncheck this option. Make sure guys to uncheck this option. If this option is unchecked, you do not need to worry about anything. Maybe Google will know about this page, but that's not your problem. With the time, this URL will be gone from here. Same thing applicable with any other kind of theme pages or plugin pages. Okay, second kind of example will be home page. You can see I have this URL home. If I click on inspect URL icon, here the detailed report, then we go to discovery section and you can see in sitemap there's no reference to this page and there's also no referring page detected. Incoming URL is the URL of my website. Actually, what's happening here if you're using WordPress on your website? You can see the page is home and I assign this page as home page of my website. So in your case, if you assign a page like a home page and if you see that page here, page view direct, you do not need to do anything about it. You can leave this page just like this. Okay. Third example will be a page without a forward slash or it can be a mistake. So what happened? You can see this is the URL. Let's create a website.com slash contact. So what happens if you type this URL here, then you can see here automatically the forward slash is added. So Google is saying this is a URL without slash and when Google bot try to access this page, we are sending this page to the forward slash version. Normally in WordPress or in any kind of other CMS, this is normal behavior. You do not need to worry about it. But here's really important thing to understand. For example, in case of some spelling mistake, if you inspect the URL, for example, you can see this is our URL. Let's create website.com slash contact. And if you go here in discovery section, you can see no referring sitemap detected. But here there is a referring page here. 
So here you can see this page is referring to this URL. So this page is about us page. If I go to about us page on my website, you can see there is a contact us button. If I hover on this button, you can see in the bottom, there is a misspelling, which is saying slash contact, or it can be any other big misspelling. You can always find the reference to the page where this misspelling is added. So what you need to do is just go back to this page, add a slash or add the correct URL. Okay, let's see the next example, which is really important. You will see this kind of URLs on Search Console when you change the URL of your existing page or post. Let me explain you in more detail. So let's click on Inspect URL. Now this is a detailed report. If I scroll the page, you can see in Discovery section, there's no reference admin detected, which is the first thing you need to check. And there are two referring pages here. First referring page is the URL same like our page view redirect URL. Second is our blog URL. So this means the link to this page exists on these two pages. But one very important thing to understand, where is the redirect? So redirect is happening here. So when from these two pages, somebody goes to this URL, they are redirected to this page. And you can see here, the names are very similar. You can see here URL is fixed, WordPress need to access your web server, solve. And here, where it is redirected, it says how to fix WordPress need to access your web server. It is happening because I changed this URL. It was before fix WordPress and now how to fix WordPress. This is a totally normal behavior. You do not need to worry about this. Just one thing to understand here. In this case, you need to install a redirection plugin website, which I'm going to explain a little bit later in detail that how you can set up the perfect redirect when you change your website URL or you move the old page to newer page. We're going to come to this point in a few minutes. Okay, there's one more example here. You can see the about URL here on my website. What's happening here? My about page is not called about, it is about us. If I go to my website, I show you this page about. You can see this page called about us. But because I'm using redirection plugin, it is automatically redirecting me to about us page. So that's nothing to worry about it. Like I said in last point, I'm going to show you in a few minutes how to set up redirection plugin properly. And one more important example is, when you move the old page to a new page, for example, this is an old page on my website. If I click on inspect URL, then I open the report. You can see in discovery section, we have two references. First is from sitemap because this page still exists on my website, but I'm redirecting this page to a new URL. And also referring page can be the same URL. If you see this URL here and referring page same URL, then don't worry about it. This means this URL is redirecting to this user declare canonical. Here you can see this is a URL for the new page on my website. Because what happened when I created a new page, I redirected the old page to the new URL using redirection plugin. And one last example. In some cases, you can find here in referring pages, external URL from some website. So in that case, you do not need to worry about it because this is external website and Google understand you don't control the external website. They might have an old link on the website and when they come to this URL about, they are redirected to a new URL or a redirected URL. So if you see this issue, don't worry about it. Okay, now let's talk about redaction plugin. So everybody need to install this plugin, redaction plugin. I already created a video about this. You can check the full video in description. So you can watch the complete video, how to install this plugin, how to use this plugin. Here you can see, I have these two redirects added already here. One is contact, which is going to contact us. So when it comes to space slash contact, they will automatically redirect it to contact us page. Second redaction I set up here, you can see, fix WordPress needs to access your website resolve. So this was the old URL and then I create a redirect so now this is redirecting to the new URL because I changed the URL of the page or you can say change the URL of the post. And here is the code 301 which says to Google, this page is permanently redirected to this new URL. This plugin is a really nice plugin. So every time you want to create a redirect, you can click here add new and then you can add the old URL. For example, I can say old page and then I can redirect to new page. This is the right way to create redirects when you change a page on your website. And also, not just this, if you go here 404, you can see all the URLs people are trying to access on your website. If they are going to 404, you can set up a redirect for them. And now the most important question, how long you should keep the redirect? Because sometimes you change your website URLs, so how long you need to keep those URLs? Okay, there's no specific answer, but from a Q&A video from Google Search Console team, they said at least keep them for one year. So if you use this plugin, your redirects here, and you set up old URL to new URL, or you set up old page to new page, then you can keep these for one year and after one year don't worry about it you can delete them or just keep it like this eventually with the time all these URLs will be gone from page with redirects don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel i really appreciate that and check this playlist on your screen to solve other common issues with google search console